When you combine a guitar and an artist, you'd assume you'd get a guitarist, right? Most of the time, yes, but not in this case. Do you play? Not very well. <laughs> so I can play a few chords, I can play the ukulele a little bit, but I am uh, better at painting. For the past decade, Sarah Gallenberger's life has revolved around guitars, but the Germantown resident doesn't play them. She paints them. I think that it's just really rewarding to see my work on a stage mm -hmm. with lots of people enjoying the music, watching the show. She works with the popular guitar brand Fender. Customers will order a specialty guitar from the Fender Custom Shop. Then Fender will reach out to her to add a one-of-a-kind painting to the body. It takes Sarah about 40 hours to finish one design. The guitars can range from $5,000 to $20,000. Uh, right now, I'm only working with Fender, um, just because they've kept me so busy. Meaning you can't order a custom paint job. This all happened accidentally. In 2011, she was unemployed. Sarah was looking for marketing jobs and asked her friend at Fender if any positions were open. Instead, that friend referred her to the custom shop, and the rest is history. I was always a hobby artist, a hobby crafter. It really took other people to recognize that I had this talent for visual art. Most of her guitars are bought by customers overseas. She's currently working on an order of 12 designs for a German music shop. I've seen those guitars on stage at the Tokyo Dome and uh, other big venues in Japan, which is just really exciting to see. As popular as her work is, this is just her side gig. Honestly, I really like working with people. That's why I like having a regular job as well where I can go to an office a few days a week and be around people and participate in things like potlucks. Um, being a freelance artist, you're alone a lot of the time. But there are certainly people out there who wish she would make the switch since she has a two-year wait list for custom guitars. In Germantown, James Grow, TMJ4 News.